Hi, I'm Dr. Kamakshar Masmuru. In this video cast, I'm going to show you how to um, create a C project using a Visual Studio Editor as well as Eclipse. Um, in my last video, I've shown you how to install Visual Studio. Actually, frankly speaking, I didn't show you how to install. I just shown you how to download the Visual Studio Editor. Uh, I mean, Visual Studio application. So if you, after you download the Visual Studio application, when you open that, there will be an install, okay? It will not uh, install the studio. So when you open the installer, it will show you, you know, what are the varieties of ways we can install the Visual Studio Editor. I installed the uh, community version along with few build tools. I don't remember exactly what tools I used, but... Uh, so Visual Studio Community version 2017 have been installed in my computer. Um, so after you install, you can just, uh, you know, Visual Studio, it looks like this. I think there are two, it seems, I don't know what does it mean to. Visual Studio 2017 is something like that. So when you open that, uh, the studio opens like this. Now I'm going to show you how to create a C++, uh, you know, project. So you can just go to File, New, and Project. So I'll just use Project. And then it will ask you, like, you know, you want to, what do you want to do? Like, you want to go for MTA Project or Console App or something, Windows application, Desktop application or whatever. I choose, you can use the Console App or you can choose the MTA Project. I'll choose the MTA Project. And here I need to furnish my first demo, something like that. So I don't want to save that here. I want to take it to somewhere else, like uh, to some sort of, you know, a temporary location where I create some folder, CVP, and then I choose. So this is a place where I would like to save this project. Now, um, create directory for solution, yes, of course, okay. And now what happens, you see there is solution editor, right side. You will find all these, uh, this is actually the beauty of uh, Visual Studio Editor. Now, right side, you've got uh, so many folders being created for you. If you can go to, like, say, for example, if you right click, I think open in File Explorer. You see, your project will be opened in your default Windows File Explorer. Um, you could uh, remember that I created a folder for directory or folder, whatever. This is a home folder. CPP, my first demo, and then you got SLN. This is a project level. You know, this is very important uh, if we want to open the project uh, again next time when we come back to the... Now, there are a few other, you know, things like created. So anyway, now, what we need to do is, there is a folder for external dependencies. We don't want to look into it, actually. Uh, external dependencies will be, will, be, will be invoked automatically as per the requirements of the source code. And then there is a folder for the header files. I don't have... Frankly speaking, I don't have one right now for this. Uh, there are resource files. This is actually the folder for, suppose if I want to keep some resources, just like, you know, the external text file in which I have some data, I can keep it here and then make use of it inside. And then this is the folder where we are going to work with. So when I right click here, you see you've got add and then, um, you know, you can just uh, use uh, like, you know, new item. And um, yes, uh, I want to create a CPP, .cpp file. Actually, we need to write the C code inside .cpp. Any file, the file format must be .cpp. That should be, that is uh, alone, um, will be recognized as a valid uh, C++ script by the operating system or maybe the compiler, whatever it is. So I don't want to create the header file right now. Maybe in future I will show you how to, what is header file and how to create one and then use it for, I'm not going to create the class. I just want a plain CPP script, okay? Add. And now by default, this is actually a default name, source.cpp. Right now, we don't have anything here, right? So in my last video, actually, the code blocks I had, um, you know, when I created a project, it has a default. There were a few lines, actually. That is a default small pro, uh, you know, script uh, which executes Hello World. I'm, not, I'm going to write it. It's good that we don't have nothing here. And uh, I don't know, I think I cannot, uh, yeah. So in CPP, include is 
a command which is used to you know import the library we usually call it as import in python and java but here we call it include in jvp it is going to io stream that is one of the essential libraries which we need uh, which i need to read and write the data or information to and forth uh, between the uh, editor and the console so after i compile this this program is going to create some outputs and these outputs will be will be thrown to the console so we need a device to see that right an external so the console will be the device uh, where and then uh, using name space you see automatically it shows uh, if i space std so that is uh, these these two statements every cpp programmer need to that is the reason why we write these two statements here so i want to create a namespace whose name is std and i i would like to use the resources inside i mean classes methods inside this library i was stream uh, through this namespace so this namespace and workspace are two technical words and uh, i'm going to write the main method main int main now i'm going to create the block in this block c out by the way this c out is coming from this io stream okay c out so this is actually the way so left side when i write this less than less than symbols uh directed towards left then this is output uh, statement okay hi come akshay okay and then e n d l end line and then return zero this is very essential because here the method type is int and we need to return only the int type uh, uh, to the output to the console something like this so, uh, i think i have finished with the basic requirements to compile my and that's okay so this program what it does is actually it's just going to throw a statement hi comma akshay or something like that and put uh, apostrophe here now you see here there is a little button local windows debugger something like that so when i press on this and it is going to build the project and then you see now it opens the windows console or terminal or we call it as cmd in windows a windows command um, through i mean it opens the it prints the output to the windows uh, console okay hi comma akshay now in the same way like as i did in my last um, so i just create a, a variable called uh, of the type uh, name and then uh, which is going to be comma akshay and this time i don't want to you know i want to make it as a variable and now this is how we are going to print it say now again here i think uh, uh yeah uh, unable to as yes, correct i think uh, there is some sort of uh, yeah i think i did the same mistake as i have done in my i always forget this my colon here and i think there is one more no operator i see out file name i think it is not a problem let's see that is not a problem at all again there is there and the last successful build um so this is creating a problem a string name hi okay major is open operand is a steady basic string string yeah correct this is a string then what is the problem output string i don't know let me say look into the for unknown reasons i just have to add this line you know string i just go went online and then search for kind of you know i, I didn't know this like actually in a code block it, it it is not required it it happens automatically but in visual visual studio code sorry visual studio editor we have to use this line include string and then this uh, you know the strings will work there is another way actually we can also use a printf that's a different discussion um so for time being so this works and let me if i execute a build and exist high gamma or something like that so this is how we can do the now let me minimize and open uh, you know eclipse this time eclipse cdt i guess i don't know i think i have only one for 
all Java. I use a single Eclipse editor for Java development, uh, web development, and uh, C development. Let's, let me see. In Eclipse, we have a concept called perspectives. So I need to change the perspective from one to the other. OK, I don't want this. Um, here, the right side, you got uh, EE. means Java EE stands for Enterprise Edition, or I don't know, kind of SE, EE, Java. I mean, Eclipse has got uh, this type of uh, you know, versions, SE, EE, and all. SE for Java development, EE for web development. And here, I think, open perspective. Yeah. Do I have CE double plus? I think I don't have. <laughs> I have EE and Java, but I think I don't have. Yes. A file, new project. Do I have CPP here? No, I think I don't have. So now what I need to do is, I have, it's good that I don't have. So now go to the help, Eclipse Marketplace, and then search for C++. So that's the way. I think I'm not able to, let me see actually, Eclipse C, D, T. Yeah, I don't have. It's OK, fine. Mm, one way is to install, uh, you know, see, I think it will take uh, a little bit of time. C, D, T, and uh, go. I think I should be able to see the pick up that, yeah, this one. Uh, not this one, this one. Eclipse C, C plus plus ID, C, D, T. I think it is already installed. Oh, it's not working. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, it's not working. So then I, we got an opportunity to, let me close this. I think, uh, so I got the opportunity to show you how to install CDD to this uh, video cast. So now go for Eclipse CDD for Windows. Mm. So there is download button here. So yeah, I could have done that download. CDD and all, mm, I think, uh, CDD downloads, main download site. Oh, this is coming back once again here. That's what you find. Mm, I think it will go to the same place, download. It is a web installer. It's like a fine. Not a problem. Uh, it's downloading. Oh, 113. So I'll uh, pause my video and come back after. I download this. I think uh, the download is over. Now let me open this. Right click, run as administrator. Now yes, go ahead. Now the installer is uh, getting ready. Now I think it will, uh, yeah, like this it opens. Okay, I already have for Java development, Eclipse. I already installed Java for Eclipse development. I also, also have the Eclipse for these two things I have in my computer. Now I'm going to install this one. Okay. Now where is this going? A program files Java JDK. That's okay. Fine. Program files CPP. Okay. Fine. Good. So the location seems to be good. Uh, I want it to go to the program files instead of user files. Install. Now again, it's going to take uh, quite a bit of time, and I'm going to pause my video and come back once after installing. Now the now the download I mean the installation is over. So usually after installing the Eclipse we need to restart the computer. But let me see. I'm going to launch this, and uh, I should see if I can uh, open this perspective or not. Yeah, it is asking me like you know where do you want to? What is your workspace? I want uh, I don't want this to be. I want my workspace to be the earlier. I think I created one in miscellaneous CPP. This one. Yeah, it's okay. Launch. Now let me see if I can open the CPP or not because I already have so many uh, two other versions of uh, Eclipse in my computer. I should be. I should be able to open. It's opening. That's fine. So this is a welcome message. Let me close this. Yeah, yes, correct. This is create new C, C++ project. Now this is truly a uh, CPP open perspective. Do I have? Yeah, that's okay, fine. So this is a brand new editor for C development. It has nothing to do with my existing uh, Java. I mean, Eclipse editor for Java, both Java as well as web development. Now you can go here, file, new, 
and uh, project C++ project or you can also just you know press on this now it will ask you like you know what do you want to do I, I want to uh, create a in C management C management C make a, what nonsense is this empty existing C make version no empty make file no 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 mm. Mm, see it. okay so I'll use C plus plus manageable next slash me project name um, uh, my first uh, first demo I just uh, changed his name because I already have one in my folder now across min gw I want to use this one min gw gcc and uh, finish okay fine I got uh, includes I think I don't have yeah these are all includes that's fine okay good now um, right click on the project new then uh, maybe I can just uh, it's not a project so let me go for the file this is going to be the source file okay uh, I'll call it as main.cpp okay and finish and now I start writing the code so let me think I'm not able to zoom this mm, maybe I can I should go to the properties mm. okay so let me include include uh, I was free and then let me see okay so that error disappears okay using um, name space std so as I said you have to buy hard these lines and then in the main um, same pro in a, in a program I'm not uh, in the main and now here I just use a string let me see if I can name is equal to Kamakshaya and then um, see out so here I think there is a problem here string that's okay fine see out um, uh, okay let me uh, you know comment this and I try to write first print uh, hi hello world world so let's see um, and uh, in line written zero okay I think um, okay this is asking me namespace std yeah that's fine I don't have any errors right now so except this one that I'll deal with later now what what we need to do is that go to the project um, uh, maybe build a project so that's I'm going to build this you see here when you build the project it is using G++ compiler so from somewhere I don't know where now run project run this uh, can we launch and there are no recent launches okay uh, maybe I can run as and um, uh, maybe local um, application to say hello world so this is how it looks like so this is how Eclipse uh, now let me uncomment this and I use um, hello and then uh, name let's see yeah this is yeah there are no errors right now everything is okay it seems now one find one more time let's um, I think I should be having build and then here in the left extreme side you have this uh, you know hammer icon build and then run now hello commercial yes it works that's it so like this we can use uh, both uh, Visual Studio Editor and Eclipse for writing the C programs in my previous video I've shown you how to write the programs by using code block in this video I've shown you how to, how to write the CPP uh, programs using uh, Visual, Visual Studio Core, Visual Studio Editor and then Eclipse okay thanks for watching my uh, video um, stay tuned for the new content please subscribe to my video channel Kindly press like button.